It was no more than a year ago, I would say. Man, I really loved the Radeon 7 when it came out, but they were expensive when they launched, and then mining Ethereum was a boom immediately during the launch. So, unfortunately, these never got cheap. <sighs> I think I did a short segment on them back in late last year. I bought two Radeon 7s from Nerd Gears. One is a Samsung card, one is a Hynix card. They're both HBM2, they're both 16 gigabyte. They have the exact same core layout, but the memory manufacturer on the actual HBM die is different. And you can tell there's actually a slightly different finish on these two cards, and I'm gonna test, but I think the lighter silvery gray one is Samsung, and the darker one is Hynix. I'm also noticing that it looks like this heatsink's actually warped a little bit. I believe this is my Samsung card. Normally, Samsung memory, when you're talking about GDDR5 or 6, is better than Micron. Or Hynix, I'm sorry, Hynix. But in the case of Radeon 7s, Hynix is actually more efficient, and it gives you a slightly better hash rate. These are really ETH hash kings. They don't really do a ton of other algos very well, um, but they have tons of memory bandwidth. So... That is still relevant. They are still 7 nanometer cards, so pretty efficient. But outside of ETH, again, that's really where these shined. They'll do about 102, 103 mega hash at about 220 watts, so slightly better than a 3080. But you'll notice I have seven more here, and these have had a much harder life. I was talking to my GPU queen, one of my, uh, we'll call them connections, I guess, that I buy GPUs from. And she's like, I have Radeon 7s in case you want those. I'm like, actually, I might. She's just like, oh, God, why? And these, like I said, they're dirty. They're, they're kind of rough, but they might clean up okay. I still decided I was going to buy them. Gave her a little bit lower offer than she was asking. Came back about a week later when the cards were ready, and she thought I was joking. So she ended up lowballing herself just a little bit, and I'm not even going to tell you what I picked these up for. It was cheap. So today I want to see if these seven that I just picked up work okay. One of them I know has bunk fans. And then I also want to verify that that is my Samsung card and this is my old Hynix one and just get all eight Hynix together. The Samsung one can just live on the display shelf. Still a great card, still performs well for a lot of things, but just not quite as efficient for mining or compute. And I'm not going to make you guys wait weeks between these videos because last week's video, I guess this week's video, and this one are very similar. They're all going to be using these cheap Nerd Gears cases. This is the second one, still or similar, because it still requires power supply input on the side. But this one's actually got little holes in it, so I could potentially feed more power connectors into it. Anyway, with how bad the paste job was on the old one, I am going to rip out this board and repaste it. This fan, I do believe, actually still spins, too. The case is in a little bit better shape. I don't remember if these spin, so I guess maybe I'll boot it right after I paste it. But either way, I do have one of these PWM PCIe-powered fan controllers, and I'll probably pop a little hole in it somewhere if it doesn't fit through something like that, and um, just you know make it so I can adjust these fans so it's not quite as loud. So I had to put the fans on the outside of the case blowing in. Um, the included fans do not work at all with PWM, so I had to grab the next most powerful fans I had. I do have seven 3070s and one 3060 Ti in here just to get it going to see if they all work and register. Um, one caveat is all of these 3070s need pasting, so I'm not going to be mining with them, but I am going to boot it up. And hopefully everything's okay. Well, good news and bad news. The 3070s are all fine, seemingly. They still need paste, but they were pulling up at 27 degrees Celsius idle at least. However, the twin edge is not recognizing. So let me pull out all the blowies and put one of those just in the middle slots. Actually, we'll try all the 3060 Ti's at the same time just to see what's going on. It's possible we have a bad slot in this motherboard. I don't know. So we'll check that out. All right, 3070s are all down. Let's crank it up with the three 3060 Ti's in slots two, three, and four. And hopefully these show up. And if they do, I'll have to do some more investigation on that primary slot there to see if something might be wrong with it. 
I don't know how thick the power planes are on this particular board, but that's a lot of power. You can hear one of them's definitely got screwed fans. This guy, this guy's got the bad fans. Oof, yucky noises. Hmm. Cannot match card ID. I thought this was just a problem with never having booted it with an AMD card before, so I did a replace. However, same thing. So I'm leaning right now to this case just isn't compatible with the Radeon 7s. I will probably try moving it over to maybe one or two over to this case here, see if it registers. Hmm, that would explain why they did not pull up an MMPOS either though. Well, that's good news. It shows up just fine in that server case. So I'm gonna move some cards out of that. And I think the Radeon 7s have to live in there anyway, because they're going to need more aggressive cooling. We'll see, but I do want to make sure that they're all working. Well, let's see if she'll boot. That is a thing of beauty. All right, and I guessed right. The old one I had, the same paint finish was correct. So I did apply the Hynix Vega memory tweak, 950 memory clock, 900 core voltage, 1638 core clock. And we're gonna push an Ethereum Classic flight sheet to it because that's what these are good at. So let's give it a go, huh? They're all pretty solid, luckily. Looks like that one's a little bit of a pisser, but the rest are pretty good. And they're actually staying relatively cool so far too. Not hot down here and I've got the case fans turned way, way down, but yeah, not bad. These, these are running on a slightly more conservative tune as well. So just 100 mega hash tunes. I don't know, VII still kind of have a sweet spot in my heart, but at least they all work. That's great. All right, I'm gonna repaste this Zotac RTX 3070 blower card. Uh, I bought these from somebody that told me they needed to be repasted. I said they had already been taken apart once and they had been repadded, but they just ignored the paste for some reason. So, whatever. Uh, I'm going to mark all of the areas on the PCB with a blue Sharpie where I do have to put a screw in. Then there's also five screws on the front, which we have to take off. And then the last thing we'll do is pull the four spring-loaded screws out as well. All right, so everything was correct, except you only need to pull the two main screws on the back plate. Looks like this has not been repadded, but the paste is indeed awful so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm doing the bare minimum here the pads these aren't ethereum cards anymore so it just doesn't really matter but i will be uh taking some rubbing alcohol to the dye and the vapor chamber and we'll be repasting it pop on some paste of choice smear it around shove it back together that was actually really quite easy Got two screws in just to hold it in. I did kind of sandwich it and pull it back apart just to confirm the coverage was good, and it was. So yeah, reassembly is just the reverse of removal. Well, that's done. That kind of sucked. Let's get all this junk in cases and get ready to call it a night.